Okay, so you have a DJI Osmo Action 3 that you want to start vlogging with, and the first question you have is, what is the best on-camera microphone? So today we're going to talk about my three picks for the best mic to pair up for external audio with the DJI Osmo Action 3. So when I was considering what's the best microphone for the DJI Action 3, there were a number of criteria that I adhered to. First, the mics needed to sound good. Second, they all needed to be able to be mounted on the cold shoe of a cage and not be seen in the shot. And even though I personally shoot in standard D-Warp, to cover more bases and user preferences out there, I set the Action 3 to wide with Rocksteady enabled. Three, the microphones all needed to include great wind protection. Four, they all needed to have different price ranges and different functionality. And five, they all needed to be able to connect to the DJI Osmo Action 3 without any additional microphone adapters. And the three mics on this list all happen to have been released the same year that the Action 3 was released. So the cage that I decided to use for my DJI Osmo Action 3 is the cage from PGY Tech. And I chose this because it is the most streamlined cage. It doesn't add too much extra bulk to my camera. And the cold shoe mount is offset to the side just slightly. So that provides that little bit of extra space you might need between the end of your microphone and where the lens is. My compact vlogging rig also includes this small rig magnetic adapter and a Manfrotto pixie tripod. You know, because I get tired of having to adjust those action thumb screws, you know? Everything that I use in this video, you will find links down in the description below. Okay, so with all those criteria in mind, the first microphone I recommend is for my budget conscious friends. And uh, big surprise, it's the Comica VM10 Pro. The Comica VM10 Pro is a great little microphone that has the capability of outputting analog and digital, which is one of the reasons why I think it works really great with the Action 3, because you can use a standard USB-C cable to run directly from the mic into your camera without any additional adapters or dongles. And then when you set the mic to a digital output, you also have fine control with the orange gain knob on the top of the mic. The VM10 Pro design is also well suited to the Action 3 because the microphone sits in the shock mount at the center of the mic body, meaning that when you put on the included furry wind muff, it really does a good job of making sure that the mic doesn't dip into your shot. Okay, so this is what the Comica VM10 Pro sounds like going into the DJI Action 3 via the digital USB-C output. The Comica VM10 Pro, the gain doesn't have any numbers, so the closest I can guess it's like at 50%. Um, basically, the Comica C is directly open to where the switch is. And on the DJI Osmo Action 3, I have the gain set to a plus six. I also have the furry windscreen attached. So you can see that it doesn't dip down into the shot. So yeah, this is the Comica VM10 Pro. So at right around 50 US dollars, the Comica VM10 Pro is a great budget-friendly option for those of you looking for a small form factor on-camera microphone for your DJI Osmo Action 3. Okay, but what about you vloggers out there that like to be in front of the camera, but then also turn the camera around and narrate from behind? Well, for you, my pick is the Movo Double Mic UC. So this mic has been on sale recently, and I think I picked mine up for around like 60 US dollars. The Movo Double Mic UC is exactly what it is. It's a USB-C microphone with two different capsules, one pointing to the front and one pointing to the rear. It was originally designed to be directly plugged into smartphones. And while it can be plugged directly into your Action 3, unfortunately, the front microphone can be seen uh, on screen. And so in addition, you will need to purchase a separate shock mount, and I purchased the Movo shock mount. And while it is a little bit of a tight fit, it does, it does the job of a shock mount, right? And because you're farther away from the USB-C port, you'll also need a USB extension cable. And I also use this right angle USB-C adapter as well, just to keep the cables a little bit more tidy. Now the Movo Double Mic UC has three different mic settings, forward, split, and back. And so with the switch, you can toggle between just recording from the front microphone, just recording from the rear microphone, or splitting the signal and recording both front and back split into channels L and R. So that means on your Action 3, you'll have to set the record setting to stereo so that the double mic produces two different signals to the left and the right. Or if that seems like too much to deal with in post, you can set the mic to split and set your Action 3 to mono, and the camera will combine both the front and the back mics into one audio track. The double mic also has a three-step gain setting at a plus 5 dB, 0 dB, and a minus 5 dB pad. So that just gives you a little bit more control over the gain uh, depending on your environment. 
Okay, so now this is the Movo double mic you see, and uh, this is one of my favorite mics to use with the DJI Action 3. The Movo double mic is set to a minus 5 dB pad, and the Action 3 is set to a gain of plus 0 dB. So while I have adjusted this audio in post, um, when you set the Movo double mic into stereo mode and the DJI Osmo Action 3 into stereo mode, you should be able to get two separate channels, the left channel being the front microphone and the right channel being the back microphone. So I'll demonstrate that right now. Right now I am talking into the front microphone and then I'm gonna go see if I can find my buddy, my buddy Cooper, let's see. Buddy, hey, hey, Cooper, come. That's my good boy, that's my good boy. That's my good boy. So yeah, there you go. That is it split, but in post again, you will have to um, duplicate that so that it plays in both the left and right when you are in your editing software. And the third microphone that I recommend for your DJI Action 3 is the brand new Deity VMic D4. So the VMic D4 is the largest of all of these microphones and it is the most expensive coming in at just about 100 US dollars. But in my opinion, it is one of the better sounding mics that you can buy if you need something that is more directional, meaning that you want to record sound from the front and reject noises from the sides. The Deity VMic D4 comes with the shock mount that has a sliding attachment, so you can slide this all the way forward and keep the end of the microphone out of your shot. It also has a stepless gain knob, so you can set your gain from 10 all the way down to a minus 5 dB setting. And the microphone only has one output port and that is a USB-C port. So that means you can use the included USB-C to USB-C cable and plug it directly into your DJI Osmo Action 3. The one drawback about the VMic D4 is that when you put on the furry wind sleeve that's included, then the microphone kind of falls into your shot depending on what field of view you're using. So you may have to buy some kind of cold shoe extension or adapter just to get that microphone a little bit farther away from the lens. Okay, so this is the Deity VMic D4 and I have it connected via USB-C directly out of the microphone into the Action 3. The Deity VMic D4 has a gain setting set to nine and the DJI Osmo Action 3 also has a gain setting set to plus nine dB. And that's because right now I have both the foam windscreen and the furry cover on the Deity VMic D4. And so that probably attenuates the signal just a little bit. Because I have the furry windscreen on, I'm also using a little bit of an extension with a triple cold shoe mount just to raise the mic up away from the lens just a little bit more. And in my opinion, the Deity VMic D4 is the best mic to reject side noise and really have that directional sound for vlogging situations. Okay, so which microphone do I think is the best? Well, I think they're all really great and depending on your budget range and the kind of functionality you're looking for, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these three choices. I personally have been using the Movo double mic the most myself, only because I like the ability to have two separate channels. And in fact, I use my double mic with this small rig shock mount, because even though it's $50, the build is a little bit more sturdy and it is a little bit more compact. But I want to know which one you think sounded the best, so let us all know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.